Talking today to Scott Monks, who is the Director of International for Box TV. Scott, what is Box TV? So Box TV is the UK's largest music television group. We own and operate seven music televisions, uh, television channels in the UK, and we are a joint venture between Channel 4, which is one of the UK's state broadcasters, broadcasters and Bauer Media, which is one of Europe's largest media groups, uh, comprising the UK's largest magazine group and the second largest uh, radio group. So what are those channels? Because they're all different types of genre music, aren't they? Yes, absolutely. Our, our channels are, are very, very distinct brands. Uh, so we have Kerrang!, which is a rock brand. It started off as a rock magazine. It's been around uh, in the world for uh, over 20 years. So Better known expected. as heavy metal. Exactly, yes. If you're a heavy metaler, then you will absolutely know um, Kerrang. And actually, it's the channel uh, with our most loyal following. So obviously, heavy metal is fairly niche um, mm. as, as a musical style, but the, uh, the followers of Kerrang are absolutely loyal. It's a, it's a way of life for them. And the other channels are? So we have KISS, which is our dance and R&B channel. Uh, it's also a radio station in the UK. So it's London's biggest radio station for 16 to 24 year olds. Uh, it's a very cool, credible brand. It's always on the edge of um, you know, the trends. Um, the, the viewers tend to be quite technologically savvy as well. Um, so we also have Magic, which is our easy listening brand. This is the brand that everybody sits around on a Christmas day. The whole family sits around to watch. So People of a certain age. Uh, uh, well, it, well, the funny thing is, it's, it's cuts across ages. Age. Yeah, so Magic, um, as a brand, I think sometimes people feel it's a, an older brand. Mm. It certainly does attract a slightly audi older audience. Um, but in fact, uh, the people that consume it uh, are, are the, the whole family, which is why uh, on Christmas Day it's the channel that everyone will put on and no one will complain about. It's that, uh, it's that middle ground. Uh, it tends to span quite a lot of uh, decades in terms mm. of musical styles. Um, so it can be quite nostalgic, but it can also be quite up to date. In the UK, it's also a radio station. Um, it's a very large radio station uh, that goes across uh, a number of regions uh, and the radio station tends to be uh, more contemporary than, mm. than the TV channel but it gives us that uh, flexibility to go into the archives um, if we want to do a seasonal special uh, or also um, uh, if there's a good piece of chart music that's, that's around but just tends to have a, a bit of a, an older style of, uh, around it, an older feel, mm. then uh, we'll put that on the channel as well. So what are the remaining channels we've not talked about? Mm. So we've got uh, Box, um, and in the African market actually, this is a channel that we've uh, localised. So it, it exists as a brand in the UK, but in the UK it's actually uh, a channel focused on the latest sharp music, uh, acts that are coming through pre-chart music. Mm. Uh, but it's a very credible and edgy brand, and, and it's a brand that we took into Africa and, um, and customised. Uh, so now actually Box Africa is, is a channel which covers uh, hip hop um, mm. and also lots of different African styles of music. And what is Box TV in Africa available on? So we go out on uh, Top TV which is a DTH platform in South Africa, we go out on uh, Zap um, which is targeted actually at a Portuguese um, uh, speaking market and it's uh, part owned by Zon, the, the Portuguese mm. uh, And that's available in Angola? It's available in Angola. Uh, we are on Zuku, owned by Wanachi, coming out of uh, Kenya uh, and also uh, Cellcast 360 which is in uh, Nigeria. Uh, and we've got a, a, quite a number of conversations going on right now uh, around the region with uh, new platforms. And in the UK, what does this, what do you know about where different genres are popular? Well, the UK is um, arguably the world's second largest music market. So uh, as, a, as a global destination for music, everything comes through, uh, everything comes through London. Um, so we've got a, a very tight network with uh, the, the labels and, and the pluggers, um, uh, which reaches out to, 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 to the whole world. So effectively, anything that's mainstream um, will we'll cut across uh, in, into the UK market. Uh, obviously, we do have uh, a lot of American uh, music that comes through, mm. and we've got a hell of a lot of um, homegrown talent as well. Uh, and that mixes through into quite a number of genres. I and mean, we're mm. very spoiled in the UK. We've got about 30 music TV channels. We've got um, an extensive uh, radio network and, and and like everyone else, or most people in the world now, we've got a, a lot of access to content online. Um, so regionally within the UK, where is, for example, heavy metal more popular than 
other places? Well, it is quite interesting because we do, we do a lot of analysis and we do a lot of research and there are regional differences. So uh, rock, for instance, uh, tends to, to be pretty strong in Scotland, uh, also in the Midlands um, and places like Nottingham. Um, so we've got a very strong uh, rock heritage, a uh, very strong uh, rock scene. R&B, so KISS for instance, would mm. be very strong in, in London uh, and uh, more of the, the south of England. Um, and then something like Magic it crosses all, all, all regions really, it's, it's mm. that real kind of middle of the road. Um, something, something for, for everybody. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And how does that compare with what you know from Africa so far? So, interestingly actually, there's a really strong uh, music scene coming out of Africa right now and there's certain regions like Nigeria, for instance, where we are getting crossover artists into the global stage. And as soon as they're on the global stage, then they're of, they're of interest in, in the UK market because mm. the UK is such a, a global market. So you've got um, acts coming through, uh, some of the Afrobeat styles that are coming through from Nigeria, for instance, have crossed over. Dibanj is the big one, mm. actually. Um, so there are, there's some synergies there in terms of the, the musical styles, but there's still a lot of regional music um, in, uh, if you go, even in South Africa, for instance, there's a lot of folk music, um, and uh, you know there's a lot of different regional styles. Ghana is quite distinct from Nigeria uh, and, and Kenya, but actually in the music television space, interestingly, um, we are obviously a TV channel. You need to reach a large audience, mm. um, so it's actually about picking out. The, the big tracks, the big crossover music, which some, sometimes quite uh, transcends the different regions. Mm. So I think once a, a track is uh, of a certain style, uh, and that style is of the moment, mm. i.e. It's, it's interesting to a large group of people, and it almost by definition, definition then makes it uh, an internationally kind of a saleable uh, piece of content. And it will travel at Yeah, that point. exactly. So yeah. what you've got is you've got a lot of content in the UK and America that's coming through and going over into Africa. So, um, you know, particularly things like hip hop mm. cover a lot of that on, on Box Africa, um, but also some of, the, some of the more kind of pop styles like Afro beats mm. um, that that's actually come from Africa, um, moved across into the UK and, and uh, to a lesser extent mm. America, um, but it's developed out in the UK and now we're, we're kind of taking it back into, into the market as well. So we take something like Fuse ODG, you know, mm. he's, you know, he's, he's, he's of um, uh, Ghanaian descent, um, he's come over here uh, and done pretty well in, in, the, uh, in the market and, and we're um, bringing that back to the, the African market. But there's so many great artists coming through. Um, you know, I would pick out again South Africa, Nigeria, um, Kenya, mm. uh, some from uh, Ghana as well. Um, but they, 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 I guess, um, in the UK, the market, in some ways, is um, is so well served uh, at a niche level mm. that uh, you know, take for instance, Krang. You know, it's, it's a very distinct channel. It's rock, mm. heavy metal, um, for a very distinct audience. Um, and uh, we were able to do that in the UK because we've also got lots of other channel channels to cover off, off all of the other genres. Mm. And because we've got so much choice, the viewers expect to be able to go to a, a more of a niche channel. Yeah. Where in the African market, what you've got is more of a collective. So um, you know your your channel will be made up of. You haven't got subgenres, have you? In There's that less subgenres. Yeah. Exactly. There's a lot less subgenres. And I'm just curious: Are there heavy metal fans in? Uh Africa? Well, interestingly enough, Krang does pretty well. Um, in fact, we, we got a, an email recently from a, a rock bar in South Africa it's raving about how well uh, the channel goes down. But it's very niche. It's more niche in, in, in Africa than, than it is even in, in, in the UK. But it's one of those um, uh, channels where uh, if a platform takes it, it takes it because it's super serving an audience. Mm. Um, and if if they lose Krang, absolutely, you know, they all help break loose you know mm. it's one of those with such a loyal following yeah um, it's, it's really fantastic to see but it is a it is a sort of love it or hate it type of uh, channel. yeah it's a marmite yeah but then that's what digital tv is about really to yeah. a certain extent it's reaching out and super serving um some subgroups and luckily enough because we've got a portfolio of music music channels we're able to to serve lots of different subgroups and we've got channels that are a little bit more mainstream so mm. smash it's for instance is a very chart based channel mm. um so that will that will be very accessible um to 
most um, audiences and most demographics in, mm. in pay TV. But you will find that even um, a Kerrang viewer will, will uh, sometimes watch Magic, and a Magic mm. viewer will sometimes watch Kerrang. And as we know in pay TV, what people want often is a sense of choice sense of having something different to access, mm. something a little bit special. So uh, Kerrang! will have its um, a small but very, very dedicated, loyal group of viewers. Mm. Uh, and then you'll have a lot of people that like to experience Kerrang! now and again. You know, yeah. if you're in that rock mood or you've yeah. got your friend around that particularly likes rock or... Play air guitar you know, with the... Exactly, uh, yeah. yeah, you're in a party mood. Yeah. Uh, you know, so it, 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 it's, a, it's a good fun channel for that yeah. as well. And the local component within um, the African version of Box TV, what kinds of um, artists have you got on that? So we've had people like uh, Ice Prince, uh, DeBarge is obviously big, um, P Squared, uh, you know, we've, we've, uh, we've reached out to quite a number of, of different artists and, and uh, labels in the region. Um, now some of the, uh, the artists, interestingly, um, are, are more focused on uh, online. Um, so, and this is where there's quite a big difference, I guess, between the UK market and the African mm. market. So, some of the artists out there have got good audio content, but not great music video content. Mm. Um, so, we're working with those artists uh, to, to, to get the video, uh, to get video, and get it into the right quality um, to, to fit within the, the, the channel. And interestingly enough, throughout that throughout that dialogue, um, there's a couple of interesting di uh, dynamics there. One is that, as I say, they they tend to serve online, so the quality mm. thresholds are, are, are a bit lower. And two, the opportunity for them to get their content seen and heard in such a big market or such a big market uh, player in the UK mm. like Box Television is incredibly exciting. So it gives them a reason then to go and ensure that they create a high quality video mm. and they deliver that in the right spec so that it fits well on the channel. Mm. Um, because what we're taking to, to the African market is a really sophisticated, well-developed product from uh, a, a, a market that's got a lot of music mm. television channels, so it's a highly competitive market. So the, the, the channels have to be at the top of their game. And who, who are you competing with? MTV, Trace? MTV and Trace, yeah, absolutely. Um, but you know, the, the response we've had is, is very favourable. In fact, um, you know, that we, we do rely heavily on um, the platform surveys themselves, and and also, you know, if ever there's a problem on the channel, the people mm. that ring up and say, "Hang on a minute, what's happened?" Yeah, to, where's my channel? To Box Africa, you know, yeah. so it, occasionally, if a platform's got a problem, um, actually, it's, it's it's a useful bit of insight because mm. you know the, the the channels that people are calling up about are the are the channels that they know are, are really popular. So we've got a lot of feedback, and there's been a couple of instances where a platforms had a little bit of a technical problem, and there have been a lot of people on the phone mm. uh, calling up about Box Africa, calling up about um, Kiss. Uh, as well, because uh, you know they're really, really, very popular channels, and the feedback we have is that they stack up very well against the competition. Actually, very, very favourable. And will you bring artists that are on the local component of Box Africa into the UK at some Absolutely. point? Absolutely, yes, we've done that already. We've got um, and uh, if we look out on, on particularly on Kiss and Box Africa. We've got a lot of content from local artists. There's been a number of events in in London, for instance, over the summer. We've got a lot of artists coming through, um, and because we're you know, the, the biggest player in, in, the, in this market. Um, we get access to all of that content. We've got exclusive content going out on the channels. So we've had a really great response, actually. Um, and it's quite nice to see. And it's nice to see as a product, actually. You've got the, the best of the international market. You've got a lot of American um, hip hop, for instance, on, on uh, Box Africa. Um, and you've got some of the, the, the UK styles. But then right alongside that global talent, you've got a lot of African talent now. And it looks fantastic. Um, and you know the, the content sits very well. I think it's nice from a consumer proposition to see a channel that really represents the local music, but alongside, on a par with um, uh, artists that people are globally recognised. Scott, thanks for talking to me today. My pleasure.